I've been demoted to the little boy sprayer, you guys. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, you guys? Well, I had to make that joke. Since you guys know that I had a little boo-boo, a little accident with the big boy sprayer. Oh no! There's about five deer and about six wild turkeys in that field back there. And here's a deer that just ran across the road. Oh my goodness. But anyway, so we'll be spraying soybeans now, you guys. I'm spraying a chemical that will repair the damage done by the deer and the wild turkeys and it will also repel them it will deter them from wearing them out so badly we sprayed some of this stuff for the first time last year i believe it was and it worked pretty good so we're going to use it again and yes we are getting ready to go across the culvert here at beaver dam creek Matter of fact, I believe Danny, yeah, Danny planted this field back here because I had to start spraying peanuts. So I'm hoping that now the weeds have died down pretty good so I can see the road marker lines. Cause when, uh, when I was planting over this way, the stuff hadn't died all that well. And it was sort of hard to see the road marker line. But uh, yeah, it looks good, you guys. And the soybeans are up. I'll be able to see the road marker line. Good deal. Right here is the middle of the in row passes. Because we make three in row passes. So if I get in the middle, that will be sure to cover everything. I am gonna hop out right quick and look at some of the soybeans before we get started. Can you see them through the weeds? <laughs> there they are. See the road marker line there? Every three road marker passes over is how I'll be counting. But anyway, here's soybean plants. Looks like the worms have been eating on this already. Or some type of bug already, man. Wow. But anyway, we gonna work on it, you guys. All right, so I will be spraying at nine miles an hour. So I need to put that in the D selection. And my pressure gauge should be on 22 PSI. And I can spray 30 acres per barrel. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, let it get in the lines and we are gonna take off. Sixty foot wide sprayer versus the big boy sprayer, which is seventy five foot wide. But we gonna work on it, you guys. Oh, and I won't be stopping at any dams. That's the rebuilt dam that Danny dug out with the backhoe entrance there, and then mother. Beaver Dam number one entrance is right around the corner. We still haven't had hardly any rain. You guys, we need some rain bad, actually. I had to go get a hydraulic hose made, and man, I went by some of our cornfields, and they look horrible. They are drying up, and they are at a stage where they need water because the tassels are out. That's the entrance for Beaver Dam mother beaver dam number one right there but yeah you guys we are like in dire need of rain man dire need and then the monstrous beaver dam entrance is right there but anyway like i said 
a thousand times already I'm gonna work on it for a bit and I will check back in a little later all righty you guys I have finished Beaver Dam Field here at Beaver Dam Creek and we are departing you know I was just thinking I'm sort of curious to go look at that tree that we wrap with the chicken wire see how dead it looks but uh I don't know oh man that washout is so bad oh wait a minute let me drop down a gear I can't remember last time it was in here I don't even think it was that much water oh I can't help myself I need to get out and stretch anyway oh let's uh run in here oh man spider webs spider webs that'll definitely get them out of the way way in advance Ugh. okay now it's getting too long come on okay I'm done with you you're too much of a hassle <laughs> let me get me another one Another spider web stick. Oh, that thing is rotten as it can be. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> the creek is even growed up. That's how dry it is. No water. Because we haven't had rain. Hard to believe that there was ever a beaver dam holding wa water here, huh? There's the dam. Anyway, let's see. Tree there. Looks like it's still thriving. Yeah, them uh, them leaves on it is green. But our chicken wire is still around it. I don't know if it takes a couple of years for it to die or what. I forgot what somebody had said about that thing. So that's that. I'm walking a little further. Look at that. Now you know it's bad when this side is dried up like that. Wow. Wow we. All right, let me see if I can slide by here without getting in the water. Oh, let me not fall. Let me not fall. Oh boy. Let me see. Do it like that. All right. <laughs> getting on out of here all right so we're coming up on the field that I said I probably spotted it up because I couldn't see when I was spraying but as I look at it you guys I don't see any green spots so we did good <laughs> we did good so I'm gonna go ahead and get it knocked out and we'll keep it moving so it's about two hours later and we have made a change in our spraying plans this will be the last field wherein I spray the entire field the rest of the fields I'm just gonna spray the borders and that's because since the soybeans are so young they actually have a better chance of growing out of the wildlife damage but also instead of spraying the entire field if we spray just around the ends particularly around the ends that have woods that should be enough 
to deter the deer and the turkeys from coming in and feasting. But this field in particular here, it needs the entire field done because they love to work on this field. And there's a little green spot that I missed. <laughs> but anyway, I guess I'll be able to probably get across all of the soybean fields doing it with just spraying the ends, which is probably about almost 400 acres. Alrighty, you guys, so I finished up that last field that I sprayed entirely, and we are heading to Pokeweed Field. Of course, both of these jokers had the great big pokeweeds in them. All right, you guys, so I'm getting an evening walk slash jog, and this is day one after having sprayed pokeweed field. This is day two. I can tell that the weeds are starting to turn yellow. Day three, after having been sprayed. Day five. Day six. Day seven. Day nine. And the helicopters are coming. There's the second one. Day 10. Day 13. Day 16, and I just planted it. We also just got half an inch of rain on it. This concludes our check-ins. So I'm gonna make my border pass, and that'll be it for these fields. Whoa, oh, oh, we choked down. I was in too high of a gear. That should have been in one. Okay, now. Let's try that again, you guys. <laughs> All right, let me engage the pump. And we're gonna take off. Oh yeah, that's a little difficult to see the row marker here. But the soybeans are up. The soybeans are up. I know y'all can't see them. Oh man, wait a minute. That oak tree fell, you guys. That was a big one. Yeah, we leveled those poke weeds. There was a big patch of them right here. Anyway, I'm gonna get these two fields knocked out and we just gonna keep on trucking on along. Seashell field is next. Looks like Danny is over there talking to Rudy. Mowing the centipede grass and they're digging some over there as well. Okay, so they got the self cutter out there. That's new. All right. All right, Rudy, get it in. So we're getting ready to ride by this guy's farm who has irrigation. If you look at that side there, well, actually, I don't think it's been watered out here at the road on that side. But you look at this side over here and see how twisted up that corn is because it's not getting watered. Riding past a few cotton fields on the left and right. All right.
everybody, we have arrived. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And this is the first farm that will be borderizing. We're damn planted with the eight row planter. So the rows are definitely very visible as it pertains to where you need to drive at. So anyway, I'm gonna get it knocked out. Nothing new. <laughs> I guess I'll get ready and take lunch now, you guys. And now we're headed back to the field. Look what the birds have done. Oh, you birds. Ay, ay, ay. Man, listen to that 18 wheeler. Got a different sound to it. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> anyway, it's 95 degrees out here, you guys. It is pretty warm. Looks like these beans are not too long coming up out of the ground anyway we are going to get back to it kudzu farm yes that's where we're headed you guys so dan had to replant out here about right there is where he stopped at because just like when we planted the beans and then it rained hard on it, it packed it and they didn't come up good. So from here on, it was only planted once. Same farm, different field, but it's surrounded by woods. So I'm gonna spray this entire field, you guys. This is a deer and wild turkey and wild hog haven. The soybeans actually look good in this field though. I guess they haven't started eating on them too bad just yet. Cut Zoomaru. <laughs> Got one more field on this farm. Y'all remember I had to cultivate those ruts by the ditch that Rudy made with the side cutter? It still dries a bone there. No water standing. Back to the drawing board, gotta get filled up. And we've arrived at the next farm. <laughs> and the same goes here. Just gonna knock out the borders. Just seen some wild turkeys run in the woods right there in that corner. Hopefully this will keep them in there, but they don't want to come back out. <laughs> and here's our next field. Just gonna do the borders. Even though it's surrounded by woods, you would think you'd do the whole field, but Dan said just to hit the borders. Field so small and surrounded by woods, we just gonna knock out the whole thing. And we're at yet another farm. <laughs> hey, I'm getting over some acres today, you guys. <laughs> I'm cheating, I know, I know. And so I've run out all the way down to the end of this field. But the good thing is the truck is over at the next farm, right beside this farm and field. That's gonna do it for this farm, you guys. Guess we're gonna hit the road again. There's two deer just ran in the woods. Just pulled up to the driveway of the next farm and way, way down the field. Wild turkeys. Yep. <laughs> so this is, oh, look, they go the wild turkey. I was just about to say, this is scenic field. I don't know if you can see them running or not, but 
I'm just gonna spray the borders of this front farm, but in the back, he might have me to spray the entire fields. I don't know, being that we're way in the woods, deep in the woods. And as you just saw the wild turkeys, they are relentless back there. Oh, there's one. He's a lagger. I don't know if he's hurt or what. I'm coming for you. Oh, there he goes, he's flying off. Oh, and a deer just ran in the woods over there. Yeah, they all out here having a meeting. Just like this morning. Remember the tree was down here? It's still there. I've already knocked out two more fields, you guys. Got one more back here in the back. So I was waiting for Dan to come and pick me up, which is why I already started on this farm with these several different fields. And he's waiting out front for me now, but no more than what I'm gonna spray back here. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock it out because I have to make a pass back out to the truck in the front field where the tree is. So yeah, I might as well just go ahead and finish all of this back here and be done with this entire farm. And we're back out front to the big scenic field. This might be all that I spray for today. Maybe, because I gotta get a truck moved. I'd say that we covered probably about 325 acres <laughs> worth of soybean fields, but not the entire fields. Y'all know what I'm saying. Since we've only sprayed the borders, I was able to get over the majority of it. Remember I said earlier, there's about 400 acres worth of soybeans. And so, yeah, we've covered a good bit today, you guys. I guess when I get out front, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day where Dan will be waiting on me. But anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching on today. Don't forget to smash the like button for us. Throw a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's on your mind. Jesus Christ is Lord and he loves you. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.